get to problem five uh, for test four review. Problem five is about <clears throat> the howler monkey. This is, we're gonna learn about sound intensity and the decibel scale. It says the howler monkey is the loudest land animal and the acoustic power output from its mouth is 0.3 milliwatts. So this is actually true. It is uh, uh, the loudest land animal. So it's saying it's, it has this much power output from the mouth. What is the intensity level of a howler's call 50 meters away from the monkey measured in decibels? So if I, how, what's, what is it going to sound like if I'm 50 meters away? And then uh, part, the second part says, what if there is another monkey 60 meters away? How is the intensity going to combine? What is the decibel reading going to be, right? So we're also going to learn how to convert from intensity to decibel and how to also add to intensities. Right? So if a certain sound wave, uh, a speaker or something is putting out certain uh, sound waves, okay, if this is the power output, P, the intensity that I hear a certain distance away, what is the intensity, I? Well, the power spreads out spherically and the, S, the intensity is power divided by 4 pi r squared, or I can say 4 pi d squared, the distance d. Okay, why? Because 4 pi r squared is the surface area of a sphere, right? 4 pi r squared. So what I have to do in this case is take the 0.3 milliwatts, 0.3, milli is 10 to the minus 3. And I have to say 0.3 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 4 pi and the distance is equal to 50 meters, so 50 squared. So that will tell me what's the intensity of the sound wave uh, reaching my ear if I am 50 meters away. That gives me uh, 9.549, <coughs> then it gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, T times 10 to the minus 9. Okay, that is watts per meter squared. That's units of intensity. Now, if I want to convert that to um, decibels, we use this, uh, this definition. The decibel scale is a logarithmic scale, which is 10 log base 10 i over i0. It is very similar in, in its nature to the Richter scale for earthquakes. We know for earthquakes, we have Richter scale, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 7 earthquake is 10 times stronger than a 6, 6 is 10 times stronger than a 5, right? So if you have a 5, 6, 7, 7 is 10 times stronger than 6, 6 is 10 times stronger than 5, 7 would be how many times stronger than 5? 10 times 10, 100, right? So the scale itself is logarithmic in nature, every unit increases it by tenfold. Well, this is very similar. You take 10 log base 10 I over I0. I0 is a base a sound intensity. It's known as the threshold, threshold of hearing. And this is about the weakest sound wave that you could hear, okay? Uh, you, if, it's any, if a sound wave is any quieter than this, then you will not be able to hear it. So it's, it's basically like a, when they say this, the room was very quiet and you could hear a pin drop. So it's like almost uh, you can't hear any, uh, if anything less than this you can't hear. So this is by agreement, it is one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. So now we're gonna measure everything with respect to this, okay? So if I wanna convert this to a log scale, I do, B is equal to 10 log of 10. And then I put my intensity 9.549 times 10 to the minus nine. I divide this by one times 10 to the minus 12. Okay, well, what's gonna happen when I divide this, 10 to the 12 goes up, uh, 10 to the minus 12 goes up, becomes 10 to the 12th on top, right? Because it was a minus 12 in the denominator, it's equivalent to multiplying it by 10 to the 12. 10 to the 12 times uh, 10 to the minus nine is 10 to the third. 10 to the third times 
is a thousand, right? So essentially I'm taking log of 9,549. So let's do that. This one when I took log came out to be 3.9799, so on and so forth, times 10, that would be 39 point, uh, about 39.8 decibels, okay? So that's not gonna sound that loud, okay? 70 decibels, 80 decibels, 90 decibels, we're talking really loud now, right? So with the earthquake scale, the Richter scale, the only thing the Richter scale doesn't do is multiply this by 10. Okay, the Richter scale doesn't have the factor 10 there, so it basically would be equivalent to saying 3.98, an uh, earthquake that's 3.98, let's say, okay? So now, what's gonna happen now? If there's another monkey with 60 meters uh, away, what, what do I have to do? Well, I'm gonna have to do a similar process, right? Uh, except I'm gonna have to put uh, 60 squared here, then what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get, we can call that. That's 6.6314 times 10 to the negative nine, uh, nine, okay? Now, what's the decibel scale of that second monkey? It should be less, right? The B2 we can call that. This one we can call B1, right? So what I should go through the same procedure, except instead of 9.549, I'm putting 6.631. And I'm going to multiply this by a, a thousand times ten. So it's going to be thirty-eight point two two decibels, right? So the first monkey is going to be thirty-nine point eight decibels. If you're ten more meters away, thirty-eight point two decibels. So it dropped by one decimal, right? Now, if if I want to know what's the total sound power that is, I'm going to be hearing the intensity. What should I do? Should I add them? 39.8 plus 38, so it's gonna be something like uh, doing uh, something like 79, right, decibels. Oh, now we're talking loud, right, 79 decibels. The answer is no, I set you up over here. You can't take the decibels 38 and add it to 39 and it's gonna be, oh my gosh, it's gonna be 79 or 80 now, right, close to 80. You cannot do that. Here's what you have to do. You have to, you have to take their intensities in the non-log scale, their actual intensity, 6.6314, add it to 9.549 times 10 to the minus nine, then you can take the log of that, right? So you have to say uh, I total is equal to I1 plus I2, Okay, so you get 16.1804 times, they're both 10 to the minus 9. Okay, so the total intensity is 16.1804 times 10 to the minus 9 watts per meter squared. Then I can put that here, multiply it by uh, 1,000. So I'm going to take log of 16,180, uh, right? I'm going to do the same procedure here. So it's 42. So the total decibels is actually 42.09. So it went, if you have a 39.8 and a 38.2, we added them, it only gave us 42. You see, so logarithmic scale is way different. You can't just add two numbers and get a scale. This would be equivalent to saying something like this. If there was a 3.98 earthquake, and at the same time, there was a 3.82 earthquake. Boom, they both hit you. 3.82, 3.98. What would be the equivalent power that you get? Will that be equivalent to a 7.0 earthquake? The answer is no. It would only be equivalent to a 4.2 earthquake, right? So the total decibels you hear, 42.09. The, the reason that this doesn't add is you have log base 10, intensity one plus intensity two, right? So this is how you're converting, this is the log of the total intensity. You cannot say this is equal to log of base 10, intensity one plus log 
base 10 intensity 2. You can't say that the log of two sums is equal to the sum of two logs. No such thing exists, right? You can say log of products is equal to the sum of their logs. I1 times I2, then it's equal to I1 log plus log of I2. But you can't say that log of A plus B is equal to that. So that's why you can't just take their individual um, decibels and add those, okay? So now you know how to approach these kind of problems. Thanks.